Hello, and welcome to my Accounting 2310 pencast. My goal is to illustrate for you today the calculation of how you calculate gross profit using the percentage of completion method of accounting. I am going to use the information below to calculate gross profit for three years. If you are using the Spiceland 7th edition textbook, this is Problem 5-5, five, five, Chapter 5, Problem 5. But since I have repeated the problem here, you don't need that textbook to follow along. And again, my goal is to calculate gross profit using the percentage of completion. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to notice is we're doing this for a company, Santa Westgate Construction Company, and they're going to construct a road, and the total revenue for this project is going to be $10 million, and total revenue doesn't change. We're going to calculate it for a three-year period for 2013, 2014, and 2015. In the real world, you wouldn't be able to know how 2014 and 15 are coming out when you're calculating for 2013. So that's how I'm going to start solving this problem using only the year 2013's information. In 2013, we estimate that our revenue will be $10 million on this project spread out over three years. Now we need to come up with what we think our costs of construction are going to be during that period. And in 2013, we've incurred $2,400,000 worth of costs. And we have another 5600000 to go if you look at the second, first and second numbers under the column 2013. Costs incurred during the year an estimated cost to complete. If you add those two together, they come up with $8 million. So we believe that this project will cost us $8 million to complete and that our gross profit overall for all three years in total will equal $2 million. We need to come up with a way to estimate how far we are through this project at the end of 2013 so we know how much of this revenue, cost, and gross profit to recognize. Our author introduced a way to do this and he called it the cost-to-cost -cost ratio. The cost-to-cost -cost ratio has you estimate how far through a project you are using costs. You take cost to date, and in 2013, there's only one year, and then you divide that number by the total costs you expect the contract to run. In 2013, our cost to date, first line under column 2013, was 2400000 and our total costs the first and second line and they entered they totaled I'm sorry eight million if you divide two million four hundred thousand by eight million you will see that our estimate for 2013 is that we are 30 percent through if you take this and you put it on a timeline where you look at 2013 in 2014 and 2015. I'll write those down even though we don't know anything about them yet. What we're saying is based on cost as of the end of 2013 we are 30% through and since we have only worked on this for one year we did the whole 30% based on our cost to cost ratio in the year 2013. So I'm going to bring down my gross profit number from above. That was two million. I think gross profit is 
going to run 2 million. So I'll write that number down. And I believe I have earned 30% of that. 2 million times 30% is 600,000. So I believe I have earned $600,000 of my estimated $2 million in gross profit. All of that happening in the year 2013. Let's move on to 2014. Before we do that though, I've had a sudden thought. I think I would like to calculate the entry to record that gross profit for 2013 while we're here. The entry needs to pick up the gross profit and as you remember from discussions and reading in your book, gross profit gets put in construction and progress. An interesting and industry peculiarity to accounting for construction. I need to pick up my costs and I need to pick up revenue. So this is actually the last journal entry I'll make for percentage of completion accounting. It's an entry to record profit. I'm 30% through, so I'm going to pick up 30% of my 10 million. That will be 3 million. My costs this year, first line, column 213, under 213, 2013, was 2,400,000, and we just calculated 30% of our gross, our gross profit to be 600,000. So this then will be our journal entry when we start journalizing transactions for 2013. To pick up the income, it will put revenue on the income statement in the amount of 3 million, which is the 30% we're done. It will put our costs of construction on the income statement in the amount of 2400000 And that will show on our income statement gross profit on this project to date, 600000 How did I calculate that? You saw from directly above. Good. So now we have one of our journal entries done. Even though we weren't going to journalize, I think I'll make that here. And then when I do my next pen cast on this, you're going to need to remember the entry to record profit for 2013. Let's get back to our task at hand. That's calculating gross profit. Let's do it for 2014 now. In 2014, we still estimate our revenue to be 10 million. That has not changed, nor does it throughout this problem, though it could. Our construction costs will be for total to date and what remains 2,400,000 from 2013 plus 3,600,000 from 2014. That equals 600,000. Our estimated cost to complete two more. So we still think our total costs on this project are going to run $800,000. So we're still anticipating that we'll make $2 million gross profit overall on this project. Now we need to come up with our cost to cost ratio. Again, it's a ratio for 2014. Cost to date. Well, we had 2400000 from 2013, and we have 3,600,000 for 2014. And if you add that together, it's 600,000. And we're having an estimate that it will cost us 8 million to complete. 6 million divided by 8 million says, to date, we are 75% of the way through this contract. So at the end of 2014, 
I am 75% of the way through. I began the year 30% of the way through, and I ended the year 75% of the way through, so I must have earned 45% for 2014. Let's bring down our gross profit. Our gross profit was 2 million. Still an estimate, but we still think that. We've now earned 75% of that. 75% of 2 million is 1,500,000. I didn't take 45% of that and times it by that because I want to use the cumulative amount and subtract what I picked up the year before. That way, if my cost changes from 8 million to something else, I won't make a mistake on the calculation. This year it didn't. Next year it will. So the safest thing to do is use 75% here and then back out what you took last year, which was 600,000, and that shows you want to pick up 900,000 for 2014. What would a journal entry for that look like? Well, we'd still want to put the gross profit in construction and progress. So for 2014, I'll put 900,000 in construction and progress, the gross profit part. I'll pick up costs for the year. And if you look back up under 2014, my costs incurred during the year were 3,600,000. My profit isn't changing. It's still 10 million, so it's safe to take 45% of that and say 10 million times 45%, the amount I completed this year, is 4,500,000. I could have also done it by saying I'm 75% of the way through, that would be 7,500,000 and subtract the amount that I recognized last year, 3 million of that. So either way, you're still at 4,500,000. Since we know profit isn't changing, it's safe to just take the increment for the year. What does that put on our income statement? Well, it will put $4,500,000 revenue on our income statement, costs of 3600000 So those two numbers we'll put on our income statement, 900000 That 900000 is also tucked in construction and progress, our inventory account. Let's move on to 2015. In 2015, my revenue, which was estimated to be $10 million, all the way through is still estimated to be 10 million. Let's see what my costs to date are. I have the amount from 2013 of 2,400,000, first number in that column. The amount for 2014, 3,600,000. And for 2015, 2,200,000. If you add all those together and note there are no further remaining costs, you'll notice that our cost to complete this and we're through is 8,200,000. So, although revenue was held still, we've now had an increase in our costs. And it's no longer estimated, it's actual. So our profit is not going to, our gross profit is not going to be 2 million, it's going to be 1,800,000. And we have estimated it to be too high. 2013 and 2014. Our cost-to-cost ratio would show that we have two million four hundred thousand dollars costs from 2013, three million six hundred thousand dollars costs from 2014, and two million two hundred thousand dollars from 2015. And that total is 8200000 but I wanted to be clear. You could see I was doing cost to date there. 8200000 divided by 8200000 is your 100% done. On our timeline, then, we are 100% done. 
we entered the year 75% done and we completed it 100% so we must have added 25% to this share. Bring down the amount that you expect to be gross profit for 2015 which is now 1,800,000 using the number it really is and times that by 100% because we are now 100% through and we should have picked up 1,800,000 in 2013 we picked up 600 so I'll take that off in 2014 we picked up 900 so I'll take that off and that leaves the balance to be picked up in this year which is 300,000 this shows you why I couldn't just take 25% I need to do this change in estimate approach 25% of 1,800,000 total gross profit would be 4,500,000 or would be 400 and 50,000 to pick up this year but I took too much because I overestimated gross profit in both 2013 and 2014 and by using this approach taking 100% of 1,800,000 coming up with what my total gross profit is and subtracting out what I've claimed so far it's a perfect change in estimate approach and that's what I have this is a change in estimate so instead of picking up 25% of 1,800,000, I'll only pick up the 300,000. The journal entry to record that would be construction and progress debited for the gross profit amount to tuck it into inventory. My costs for the year are 2,200,000. And I have some revenue to pick up. The total revenue was 10 million and I've already picked up 75 million if you add 2013 and 14 revenue numbers together you'll see that I have 2,500,000 to pick up since revenue hasn't changed the whole way through it does work out to be 25% of total revenue on my 2013 or 2015 income statement then I pick up 2,500,000 my costs are 2,200,000 leaving gross profit on the income statement of 300,000 and that's also tucked in my construction and progress if you added these all together and totaled them you would see that in total I picked up 8,200,000 or 10 million use me 10 million worth of revenue there you go 8 million 200 thousand worth of expenses and my gross profit in total over the three years is 1 million 800 thousand spread out though some for 2013 some for 2014 and some for 2015 this is the percentage of completion method if I were using the completed contract method all of it would have been picked up in 2015 the 10 million the 8 million 200,000 and the gross profit 1 million 800,000 this completed contract doesn't recognize any along the way it picks it all up at the end this then is a quick review of how you can calculate gross profit under the percentage of completion and to it I added the journal entry that records the revenue under percentage of completion this completes my pen cast for this topic of gross profit with a little add-on of the journal entry Thank you ever so much for joining me, and bye for now.